Monacus 45, Pride of Croatian shipbuilding, is propelled by two Cummins engines, each with 425 horsepower that enable high speed of 34 knots and cruising speed of 28 knots. Fuel tanks of 1400 liters allow you to split 270 nautic miles with one filling. We left the mooring combining the two engines. There was no need to engage side thrusters. The standard model comes with stern and bow thruster. We set off with 800 turns and in no time reach the speed of 4 knots, discovering that each move we made with the helm was entirely safe and precise. Visibility from the helm seat is excellent and the space a skipper gets comfortable. Shaded glass surrounds the saloon while the entrance is set as two large glass walls. To gain complete control over the entire yacht, all that a skipper needs to do is simply turn his head. Having left the marina, we speed up to 1000 turns and nothing significant actually happened aboard. Vibrating was still lacking, bow didn't lift. It seemed as if we were standing still while the instrument indicated a speed of 7 knots. Bow slightly lifted at 1500 turns, which is at the speed of 10.5 knots. By speeding up, bow lifts a little, while at any mode of engines a safe maneuver is what you get and the feeling you get behind the helm resembles the one at displacement yachts exceeding the length of 20 meters. At maximum turns of 3000, the achieved speed was 28.5 knots and optimal navigation is at 2400 turns with a speed of 23 knots. No pitching was experienced, no tugging, twitching or sudden leaning of the yacht. She is extremely stable which allows you to walk on the deck freely even at full speed. When lowering the speed in a sudden manner, caution is needed. Stern lowers slowly and again no pitching is present, no tugging, but she stops very quickly and you do need to find some support. Cruising speed is achieved within 5 seconds, again with no sudden movements, powerfully speeding up. With slight leanings and taking turns, we expected she would need a lot of space to make a full turn. On the contrary, at full speed she turns in an unexpectedly little portion of space, again by slightly leaning and safely taking her course. By setting the helm straight again, she simply straightens up doing so very elegantly. What surprised us most during the whole time we could converse normally, regardless of the fact that Monacus has two Cummins engines of 425 horsepower. Monacus was conceived as two-cabin owner's yacht of highest standard. 